Good morning, church. Let's all stand to our feet and close our eyes in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time. Master, we come into your sanctuary hoping and expecting great things, O oh Lord. Lord, we set aside our anxieties. Lord, we set aside every thought that plagues us, O oh Master. And we submit ourselves to you and we surrender our lives to you. Master, we do not want to hold back any aspect of our lives, O oh Master. And we give ourselves wholly and solely to your purpose and to your kingdom, O oh Master. Lord, it is because of your sacrifice on the cross that we have this moment where we can freely worship you in your sanctuary among your saints. So Lord, we, we acknowledge what you've been doing in our lives and we thank you for everything, O oh Master. Lord, we thank you for our families. Lord, we thank you for this church. Lord, we thank you for our communities, O oh Master. Lord, we thank you for our life groups, our households, O oh Master. Lord, we thank you for our leaders. Lord, we thank you for our friends. Lord, we thank you for every connection that you have placed in our lives, O oh Master. We give ourselves to you, O oh Master Lord. You are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yet, you are so mindful of us. You've written our names in the palm of your hands. How great is your love for us, O oh Lord. We love you, we love you, we love you, O oh Master. We thank you and we welcome your presence in this place. Thank you, O oh Master Lord. In Jesus' matchless name, we ask and pray. Amen, amen. Church, if you have your Bibles with you, I, I'll give you a minute. Let's turn to Psalm 146. You're there? Um, so even as uh, Sharon reads uh, this psalm, let's read along, yes? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Do not put your trust in princes, in human beings who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. Blessed are those whose help is in the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God. He is the maker of heaven and earth the sea and everything in them. He remains faithful forever. He upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the foreigner and sustains the fatherless and the widow, but he frustrates the ways of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever. Your God, O Zion, for all generations. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So even as we sing this next song, I want you to just worship freely because we have that freedom in Christ. Yes? Do you believe that, church? Do you? Are we still sleepy? No one's sleepy? Those who are very sleepy, please raise your hand. Thank you so much. So uh, thank you for on being very honest. Um, so even as we sing this song, let's not sing it sleepily, but let's sing like we have salvation that we have received. Yes? Do you believe you're saved? Yes? So <laughs> let's just be free in the presence of God. Yes? Okay.
of kings. You are God of majesty. And we praise you forever and ever and ever. God, in this moment that we are living in, O oh Master, we acknowledge what you've been doing in our lives, O oh Master Lord. see the news. Lord, so many times it's so scary for us, O oh Master Lord, to be even living at such a time. But Lord, in all that, we know that you are the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. So we know that you have us in the center of your plan. And the very fact that we are here in this moment of time, in this church, in this city, in this country, at this very moment, we know that we are part of your mighty plan, O Lord. And we cannot wait for that day we will be, where we will be singing, Holy, Holy, Holy are you, God. And there will be so many, a multitude, multitude of people singing, Holy, Holy, holy are you, Lord God Almighty. Are you, Lord God Almighty. Lord, we surrender ourselves to you. Lord, we pray that you will accept our praises. You, that you will accept our offerings, O Master, at this time.
lifted up. Now we're going to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the Holy of Holies. Come on, I want every one of you to open up your mouth and start to praise Him. Start to lift up your voice. This morning, let there be freedom in this place to worship God in spirit and in truth. Let us worship Him. This is a privilege that's been given to the people of God to declare the name of Jesus, to praise His holy name. It's not been given to every other person of this world, but then it is given to us. And it is a privilege and honor to lift up the name of Jesus. And I want every one of you here this morning, lift up the name of Jesus. Lift up the name of Jesus. Lift up the name of Jesus. May the house of God be filled with praises of God. Father, we pray, God, that this morning we want to really, Lord Jesus, Father, with a grateful heart, with a thankful heart, we want to, Lord Jesus, lift the name of Jesus on high in this place. Lift the name of Jesus on high in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of God, we want you to move in this place. Move in this place. Move in this place. Move the hearts of people, oh Lord Jesus. Lord, to realize the freedom they have to worship you, to honor you. I pray that, Lord Jesus, that you would touch their tongue, touch their lips to sing praises. We pray, Lord Jesus, through your Holy Spirit, this morning that you would put a new song into their mouth, new words to praise you. God, I pray that people who are ashamed till now to take the name of Jesus will have boldness in the presence of God to declare the name of Jesus through your Holy Spirit, through your Holy Spirit, through your Holy Spirit. God, we are not ashamed of this greatest name that's been granted to us, the name of Jesus. Lord, the powerful name. Lord, there is nothing, there is no one who can be compared to the name of Jesus. So we declare the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Father, be lifted on high. Lifted on high. Every one of you, even as you open up your mouth, may the Lord fill your mouth. May the Lord satisfy your soul this morning. Lord, we pray that you would pour on your spirit Spirit. Pour out your spirit amongst us, oh God. This morning we want to, Lord Jesus, have an experience, have an encounter with you, Lord Jesus, an audience with you, oh God. It is all about Jesus. It is all about Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Lord, we lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And the angels cry, oh. Everyone, holy, you are lifted, you are lifted high. high, Lord Jesus. Holy and holy forever holy you are. Forever. Come on, and the angels cry, and the angels cry. power in this name of Jesus and we truly want to have an experience of you in this place we might have come with a different mindset this morning we might have come here Lord Jesus thinking it is one more Sunday service but we pray that you would flood this place with your presence this morning we desire this oh God with all of our hearts one thing that we desire that is to see the beauty of Christ Jesus oh hallelujah desire this one thing Lord I want to have an experience oh God this morning 
a fresh anointing for people a fresh anointing a fresh anointing a move of the holy spirit in this place a move of the holy spirit i pray father every heart and hearts would be broken father to praise your name father i pray in the mighty name of jesus new words new words new words new songs new songs may the rise from people's heart i pray oh god we will never lack or father be in short of words to praise you oh god hallelujah 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 father every disease every disease this morning in the mighty and matchless name of jesus let there be healing 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 power of jesus manifested over this place everyone father who are here this morning lord i pray lord father your power to touch them and heal them this morning we pray father we will have a new found oh lord jesus hope in our body father lord jesus everything that was hindering lord jesus for us to Lord do life in a normal way that was obstructing us this morning I pray I release your power release your power release your power this morning is a morning of experiencing God's power this morning is a morning of freedom this morning is a morning of deliverance this morning is a morning of receiving God's strength this morning is a morning of we being freed from the captivity father i pray every oppressive thoughts in the mighty name of jesus to leave to leave to leave to leave satan you don't have any power over your people or any power over this congregation father i pray and i pray for freedom 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 thank you jesus may your name be lifted on high oh god even as we meditate your words we pray that uh, father you would uh, activate us lord we pray that truly this sunday would be a remarkable sunday for many of us here a remarkable sunday a remarkable sunday believe it with all of your heart this sunday this morning is going to be a remarkable morning for me as something uh, that will uh, really take place in my life that i will never be able to forget uh, i will never be able to forget this uh, morning is going to be an unforgettable morning to people out here father we believe it with all of our hearts in jesus name we pray amen amen put your hands together lift up the name of jesus please be seated a new month aren't you excited yes can we shout a hallelujah hallelujah and i'm going to say the lord is good and you're going to respond saying the lord is always good okay the lord is good the lord is always good okay i'm going to say the lord is good the lord is good the lord is good do you believe with all of your heart that he is always good can we put our hands together and and believe it with all of our hearts the lord is always good our heavenly father is always good amen so this uh, morning is a slight uh, you no know, uh, um, a shift to what we normally used to do on a sunday gathering uh, so we are going to take time to pray after after uh, the sermon okay and uh, last few days church out here a small groups they all connected together they were praying for the whole week and so we want to extend it to this uh, larger gathering here so how many of you really decide to pray only few hands so now i am going to reveal a truth then you will all lift up your hands okay so uh, sometimes we struggle to pray sometimes a prayer doesn't really interest us but then this is one uh, main thing that we all need to capture Uh, because when we don't pray or when we don't desire to pray when we say no to prayer or take prayer as the last thing in our life uh, something uh, that we are missing out okay this is the one thing that we need to take into our minds deeply this morning before we meditate on one of uh, you know the scriptural passages uh, 
this is how it goes. Uh, this man by name E.M. Bounds, who has written a lot of books on prayer, out of the 11 books, he has authored nine books is uh, on this topic, prayer. So he says, God must help man by prayer. He who does not pray, therefore, robs himself of God's help and places God where he cannot. So what are we missing? When we don't pray, what are we missing? We are saying no to God's help. How pathetic it is. Huh? The maker of heavens and earth, he is, uh, he is waiting. He is uh, desiring to have a communication and he has uh, done everything for us to call him out anytime, anywhere. And if we don't really take advantage of this great gift or privilege that's been granted to us as God's children, then we are only robbing God's help. It is a pitiful state for any person, okay? So, so to put God to work, in other words, we got to pray. What? To put God to work, we have to? And uh, it is such a confidence when we know that God, uh, that God is working in our lives. And nothing can happen without prayer. Every request, everything that we want to receive, it is conditioned through prayer. And God uh, uh, is expecting His children to pray. This morning... The topic that I want to discuss with you is uh, until we pray. What? Until we pray. A lot of things that happens till the time we, we really desire to come and uh, seek the Lord with all of our heart. So this psalm is uh, a psalm that talks about the wisdom of God. Uh, psalm 73. Okay, I want you to take your Bibles and open it up and turn your attention to Psalm 73, Psalm of Asaph. Okay, a musician, uh, uh, a songwriter. So Psalms are nothing but poems that we uh, really can understand about how people can really open up their hearts to pray unto the Lord. It is all the the poems in, in the book of Psalms, it is about prayer unto the Lord on one side. And on the other side, it is about reminding of ourselves about the greatness of God. What? So all of these poems are put together as one book for us to know that how people prayed, how they opened up their hearts to pour out their hearts before God as prayer. And on the other side, it is about every time when they pray, God help them to understand about his goodness, about his greatness, about his might, about his power. Okay? With this little introduction, I want to dive into this uh, passage, this Psalm 73. So it starts on a very good note where the uh, author says, Surely God is good too. Israel, to those who are pure in. So there's no doubt that God is good. He says, surely I know. Surely, for certain, I know. But then he writes in Psalm 73 and 2, but as for me, my feet had almost slipped. And then he says, I had nearly lost my foothold. So, the second verse says, though I know that the Lord is good, He is good to all those who are pure in heart, who seek Him. But as for me, I nearly slipped. I lost my ground. And from Psalm 73, 2 to 12, he talks about the reasons why he feels that he is on a slippery ground. So, I don't have time to go verse by verse because we want to really give the church the time to pray uh, for a few prayer points. Uh, what good it is if we can listen to a sermon on prayer, but then we don't pray. Uh, we can uh, hear about n number of sermons regarding prayer, but then if we don't pray, there's no point. 
So while we have some uh, no inputs this morning, uh, we will uh, we will really engage in our prayer times. How many of you really desire to pray? I want you to have a heart of uh, a prayer this morning. May the Spirit of God pour out spirit of prayer amongst us this morning. So Psalm 73, 2 to 12, why Asaf, he says that he is, uh, probably he feels that he is uh, standing on a slippery ground is he sees few things, he observes few things, and he says, God, there are so many wicked people out here they are prosperous. They are powerful. They walk with so much of pride. They are peccable people. They are pitiless people. And uh, what we can really see is, I don't understand, God, that how is it that we, as your children, it seems that we are no way closer to them when it comes to how they are enjoying their lives, how prosperous and rich they are. And they are so arrogant, the riches that they are holding and holding. It has made them so arrogant. How is it, God, I'm not able to come to terms with what I see? So I feel I am standing on a slippery ground. We can relate to our lives many times when we observe things that is happening all around and uh, what we sometimes expect, things that really has to happen in our lives, it doesn't, but then to someone else, it is happening. I will feel so sad about it. And you question God, why? This is a million dollar question. The wicked are prosperous, Lord, why not us? Life is not fair, God. And then Psalm 73, 13 to 16, he talks about his inner condition, okay? All of what he has observed so far, he's now uh, really talking to himself. He's questioning, why would this happen? And now, 13 to 16, he says, Surely in vain I have kept my heart pure and have washed my hands in innocence. All day long I have been afflicted and every morning brings new punishments. If I had spoken out like that, I would have betrayed your children. When I try to understand all this, I, it troubled me. Lord, I'm trying to understand with my little bit of brain, knowledge and intelligence that I have probably acquired through all these years. But when I understand the situation that is around me, I'm deeply troubled. And I can't now forfeit you. I can't say no to you. I don't know what else to do. Life is... Life is just unfair, God. And why would I take all the necessary steps? Why would I desire so much of you just to see punishment every morning? That was his observation. That was his observation. Until he did something. So that until is the message for us this morning. What? And all of this time, he had a lot of uh, internal turmoil conflicts within himself, battling out with a lot of questions. He is not able to come to terms with life and he feels probably I should give it up. It is, uh, it is so frustrating for me to see life like this. It is, so, it is so frustrating. It is deeply saddening. It is so sorrowful. It is so pitiful to be like this after knowing the Lord, after, after really doing whatever best I could really do unto the Lord. Verse 17. Till I entered the sanctuary of God, then I understood there. Their final destiny is about the destiny of the wicked. Lord, till I entered your sanctuary. Why would someone enter God's sanctuary? To have an audience with God. To communicate with God to seek God, to listen to God. That is why you want to have a communion with God. Till I entered the sanctuary of God, I was battling it out on my own. And then he says, the moment he entered God's presence, he says, then I understood whatever I was not able to understand 
with my little brain that I that I that I'm having now when I went into the presence the sanctuary of God now I understand now see the transition that happens when he entered the presence of God and this is the message for us this morning Psalm 73:18 to 22 surely you place them on now he says he has changed his stand the poem starts by saying god is good but i am standing on a slippery ground verse 18 he says they are standing on a slippery ground <laughs> there's some understanding clarity that has come when he sought audience with god that is what happened when we take time to pray till the time we know there is a help that is available but then we say no and we try to understand with all of our human limitations with the with a lot of uh, no limited understanding we try to somehow comprehend somehow try to understand this life at all levels and we are not able to we are frustrated and now when he goes to the presence the sanctuary of god he says i have understood something god i'm so sorry for all the things that i've just told to myself i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i truly now believe it is not that i am standing on a slippery ground but those people who are so prosperous those people who are so powerful walking with full of pride uh, peccable people pitiless people so harsh and arrogant they who don't even accept you they mock you because in the same psalm he says that these people who are wicked they say does god even know what we are doing does god has does he have the capacity to to really see through everything of what we are doing so they don't even stop walking with arrogance but then they even mock god now he says i've understood god when i walked into the sanctuary when i stepped into the sanctuary of god i understood this one thing god that i am not standing on the slippery ground but i am standing on the solid rock of christ jesus that is what will happen when we give ourselves time to seek the presence of god in the place of confusion from a place of confusion god gives clarity into your life uh, many things that deeply trouble us uh, we are seeking people we are going we are doing a lot of things but then we forget to this is the basic for a christian that we seek that we need to seek god that we need to seek god with all of our heart because he is there to help us so until you pray you will live with a lot of conflicting ideas confusing uh mind battles that you have to go through but better when you approach so probably it might not be a solution but then god gives clarity into the matter because i'm going to read the next few verses and you will understand better you cast the wicked ones down to ruin now how suddenly are they destroyed completely swept away by terrors they are like a dream when one awakes that is the length of their life that is the length so you have a dream you wake up that morning and by the time you wake up the dream is it is like that oh god these people are going to perish but then what a pity that they have not known you and uh, they have acquired everything but they have not known you i stand in a better place then he says when my heart was grieved and my spirit embittered by what i saw i was senseless and ignorant i was a brute beast before you god and then he says yet i am always with you you hold me by my right hand you guide me with your counsel and afterward you will take me into your glory lord what a great plan you have for me that you hold my right hand 
that you counsel me, that you lead me, is that possible for the wicked ones to be led by God himself? To be led and counseled by God? They don't have that person because they have mocked him, rejected him. But God, how good it is. I was so senseless when I made those statements, oh God, that why, it's, why is this happening? Why this, this, this struggle, God? I've been asking myself a lot of questions. I'm so sorry, Lord. I'm senseless. I'm senseless. I was ignorant till the time I entered your sanctuary that you opened up my heart and mind to know your great plans, to know the promises that you have for me. Who's the other person who really, you know, on the same lines, uh, he shared something in the Bible. Similar, similar, very similar to what we have read right now. Job. Too many questions. He wanted to make a case before God because he was not able to understand why would this happen to me? Why would this happen to me? I was seeing his life. According to me, I've really done well. But why would this happen to me? There are people who are so wicked, who are so brutal. But they are fine. But why would God allow me this? And then when actually the Lord spoke, he said, God, I spoke of things that I didn't understand. Well, I'm so sorry, Lord. I will not open my mouth anymore because all of what you have planned, you will fulfill the plans, the good plans that you have for me. So I want to repent of my words that I spoke because it is too wonderful for me to understand the great plans that you have for me, God. So from a place of uh, uh, being skeptical about God, skeptical and doubting God's goodness, you come to a place of having God confidence. That is what will happen when we give our time with God to understand Him. There is great confidence that arises within each and every one of us. Sometimes we go into the presence of God fully disappointed, dejected, and depressed. But when we come out, we have a confidence in God. God, I know I was embittered. I, I, I was really frustrated. But now I know, God, that you have some great plans for me. You have held my right hand and you will not leave me. You will counsel me and you will take me into glory. It's a great plan of yours. Thank you, God. You, you develop confidence in God. Sometimes we feel that uh, prayer is a struggle for us and we are not able to pray and it is our weakness when we don't pray it is actually much more than that. It is a spiritual warfare. It is just not about your own weakness. If you're not able to, you know you have to pray, but you're not able to pray. The church knows that there is nothing like coming together and praying, but still they feel it is of a second order. They can come here for something else, but when it comes to prayer, the attendance is very low because you feel that prayer is not something, it is not exciting anymore. The church was birthed through prayer. People of God, they were scattered through prayer. People of God came to an understanding. They, they had the revelation of God through prayer. Everything happened in the early church through prayer, through prayer. Every time they came, this was something very vital for the early church. But today... We feel that prayer probably next week. We are only robbing God by saying no to his help. So don't think that it is your own battle. You are in a spiritual warfare. And that is something because in the heavenly realms, Satan doesn't want you to come to have an audience with God. Satan doesn't want you to come closer to God. While he is uh, really wanting you to come closer to him and thereby he can draw you closer towards him, keep you very close to him. But Satan wants to do 
the exact opposite thing of what? Taking you away from God. So I want you to really keep this in your mind. When you are not able to pray, it is just not about your weakness. You are in a spiritual battle and that is why you are not able to pray. Number three, I said when we come into the presence of God, of all those questions that we have that, that really robs us of the joy that we need to have in the Lord because of so many confusing thoughts, God gives clarity. The second thing is when we come so dejected into the presence of God, God gives a new confidence by helping us to understand what he is for each and every one of us. And the third thing is that from a place of giving up, we desire to continue in the Lord. Right? That is what happened when there's a, there's a, a man who writes this uh, psalm. You know, what good it is, God, to simply follow you, not having anything good in my life merely based on his observation. It says, it is really disappointing. Then now he says, no, 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 Lord. See how beautifully he ends this poem in, uh, in Psalm 73 and uh, 28. Okay. It is good to be near to God. I have made sovereign Lord my refuge. I will tell of all your... That means, Lord, when I started, I was on a slippery ground. Then when I came to your presence, until I kind of uh, had a lot of other things, I was not able to pray. I had uh, a lot of internal uh, battles and conflict and battles that was raging within me. But then the moment I entered your presence, there was something different. And now my perspectives have changed. My thoughts have changed. And you have given me such great clarity about life here on earth and you have given me confidence to move knowing that you have held my right hand and now god i will walk with all confidence to continue in you to tell about your good deeds i will not stop i will not stop i will continue to tell about the goodness of god so you see he prays unto the lord he opens up his heart unto the Lord, and then when he ends, it is about reminding himself of the greatness and goodness and the firm plans that God has for his. That is what will happen when we seek the Lord with all of our hearts. Until you pray, you are confused. Until you pray, you move with a lot of doubt. You are skeptical about a lot of things. Until you pray, you feel that you have to give up at some point in time. This morning, I encourage you, church, that start to seek an audience with God. Take prayer very seriously because I want to make this statement. If God is so precious to you, prayers will become very valuable. You got it? If God is so precious in our life, how many of you say that God is precious to me? My heavenly father is precious to me. Then you cannot contradict by saying, I don't have time to pray. I have only little time to pray. Because if he is the most precious one in your life, if he is the most important person in your life, how can you not give him time? How can you rob time from God? And how can you say just by you know, opening up, Lord, I love you so much, oh God, but I don't have time for you, God. How contradicting it is. If God is the most important person, if he is precious to you, then the prayer times will become so valuable. You come with an earnest desire to have Oh, I can't say, if you are going to meet an important person, the person whom you value, how excited you will be. How can prayer become so boring for God's people? How can prayer become a place where you don't feel the kind of excitement? How prayer can become suddenly a burden when prayer has been given to us as a place where we can really find privilege because we are dealing business with our Heavenly Father. 
we are in direct business with our heavenly father so we are contradicting somewhere all that we are saying all that we are singing it doesn't in reality when we come it becomes hard so what are we really doing church this morning there's an opportunity for all of us the lord i want to have a desire to pray i'm sorry lord that i was so senseless and arrogant and with all my ignorance i just kept postponing i said no to the times that i should have come to seek you with all of my heart lord i should have done this i know i know what you can do for me i know your promises but then because i fixed my heart on something else i fixed my eye on something else my heart was dragged away from me god because i saw something on the outside and the world was doing something and and i was not able to come to terms i i fixed my eye on the world not on you god and my heart was dragged away from you thinking probably this life doesn't make sense and i questioned the plan of yours in my life today it is a time that we are going to say god i want to seek you with all of my heart because i i truly believe that you are my everything god truly you know uh, when it comes to confidence this is what the 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 psalm says in uh, asaf 73 psalm 73 and uh, and 25 whom have i in heaven but you and uh, earth has nothing i desire besides now he says lord let them be powerful let them be prosperous let them walk with uh, no uh, pride let them be arrogant let them be pitiless it doesn't matter oh god it is not that god doesn't want to bless his children not uh, want to make them prosperous that is not the idea but because of what you see you you certainly doubt god now he says what else i can desire here on this earth apart from you god he started with something and then now he says what all that i desire in my life is you god because you have some great plans for me so i want you to stand up and uh, and just uh, remain in an attitude of prayer and we have a few of our leaders who will come and lead us in a time of prayer
Jesus Stir up a fresh love in my soul You're my first love Stir up a fresh love in my heart Lord Jesus Stir up a fresh love in my soul You're my first love Stir up a fresh love in my heart Lord Jesus, stir up a fresh love in my soul. You're my first love, stir up a fresh love in my heart. Lord Jesus, stir up a fresh love in my soul. Daddy, stir it up, stir it up. Can we call out to him, church? He is here with his arms wide open. His love is unchanging, never changing, the only constant we have in our life. Every habit, every priorities, every word that we have spoken, can we lay it down at his feet and say, Father God, you are my desire. I long for you. Everything I need, everything that I want is you and there is nothing more, nothing more than nothing more, nothing more that can replace what you are to me, what you mean to me. Can we all lift our mouth, lift our, lift our voices and call out to him and say, Daddy, I need you. I need you like never before. Transform from the depth of bar. Transform, transform, transform the words that I speak. Let it be pleasing unto you. My priorities set it right daddy set it right my families my 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 career everything that is concerned of me i lay down at your place above at your feet you are my desire here is my heart my mind my soul my strength you alone i seek you alone i desire would you come would you come take your place in my life today hallelujah 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 be lifted high be lifted high daddy would you come down father would you come down Abba? take your place in our life take your place in our life Abba. here we are father broken apart from God 10,000 times we fail but you never fail your mercy is never ending never failing father you are enough your grace is enough we call out to you Abba. stretch forth your arms daddy restore us into the first love father the place where we met you would you restore us daddy we come back up our beyond for you we long for you father we need you like never before Abba. would you come wrap your arms around us up we want to run to you run to you just to be under the warmth of your love Abba. just to be under the warmth of your hug father papa you alone are our desire you alone are what we need hallelujah 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 sweep across up Yes, 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 yes. Appa, we do not want to be satisfied with an ordinary. Appa, an extraordinary anointing. Full and overflowing anointing is what we are seeking for. Appa, a fresh touch. Appa, a fresh touch. Would you pour out into our church today? Upon our households today? On our families today? Appa, you move, daddy. You move, you sweep. Appa, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Up and we want to come. We want to come just to say we love you, Daddy. We love you, Daddy. Restore the altars in the families, Appa. The prayer places where we meet with you regularly. Appa, let it be a dialogue, not a monologue. Speak to us, Appa. Let the whispers be audible. Sensitize us, Appa. The callousness be broken in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Let us hear you audible, Abba. In the, in, the crowded, in the crowded lives that we live, let there be places that is opening up. Yes, yes, yes. Remove, chisel what has to be chiseled away. You take your place, Abba. Empty us, empty us, Abba. You come, you take your place, Abba. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Abba, the spirit of forgiveness. Abba, Amgathava, let it flow through us, Abba. The bitterness that we hold on be broken and nullified in the name of Jesus. Let us love, Abba. Let us love like you, Father. The high, the wide, the 
about the deep love that you have flow through us daddy flow through us into our families into our households into our neighborhood appa am kartave may we be the reason appa the city is transformed appa let us not stand appa am kartave rebellious let us be yielding let us be yielding appa you move puppetus puppetus father hallelujah hallelujah restore us restore us appa am kartave the the plans you have for us is to prosper us appa am kartave to use us to love us appa your love is enough yes 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 hallelujah 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 would you move appa would you move would you move would you move yes 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 we want to surrender all that we are all that we have at your feet appa here we are here we are appa yes 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 not warm appa am kartave but fire is what we are asking for daddy yes 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 many of us are not cold but we have been comfortable with the warmth no daddy no 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 this is not what we desire fire 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 is what we desire appa fall on us like never before father fall on us set us a place for you appa ready to burn for you daddy yes 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 seeking you desiring you wanting you hallelujah 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 we call out to you daddy have mercy appa open the flood gates of heaven daddy it's you we desire it's you we need there is nothing more that is nothing less hallelujah you come daddy you come you take the place appa hallelujah sweep us see sweep us daddy yes 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 an anointing that we cannot contain an anointing that we cannot appa contain to ourselves but it'll overflow to the people whom we meet as we speak as we walk let people know that you are there appa that you are walking with us appa that you are speaking through us appa hallelujah hallelujah you move you move you move you move daddy adagat karagadagat kam move daddy move hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah
our church. Jesus be the center of our church. Jesus be the center of our church. Every knee will bow. And every knee. is protection let's all lift up our voices and hands to the Lord and I pray Lord because Lord there is continuous attacks towards the church so that your people will fall but Lord we know one thing the gates of hell will never prevail amen hallelujah Church, let's pray for the protection of the church and each and everyone interceding for each and everyone here. Lift up our hands and we pray. That's as a sign of simple everyone. If you are on the right of the camera, turn your, uh, turn your hands towards the right hand side so that every attack coming from the right hand side, we will ask God to fight the battle everyone who is on the left hand side turn towards your left turn towards your left and lift up your hands towards the left as a sign of symbol and proclaim God's protection over the church lift up your voices and say Lord protect your church Lord we pray oh Lord God Lord your word says the gates of hell will never prevail through your blood through your name when the Gentiles region was tormented, when you entered, the legion stood to ask you, why have you come to torment us? So much, oh Lord God, it is your presence that they will flee. Thank you, Jesus. Church, let's lift up your voices and say, Lord, we, Lord, we ask you to come and fight our battle. We don't want to fight. We don't want to fight our battles. We want you to fight our battles, Lord. But we are willing to stand in the gap. We are willing to stand in the gap. Lord, we ask you that you would protect. We rebuke you, Satan, in the mighty name of Jesus. We rebuke you, spirit of confusion, the spirit of unforgiveness, the spirit of gossip and slander. We rebuke you in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that you will place a hedge of protection hedge of protection over this church that every person over here will be protected Lord Father from every kind of fall church lift up your voice to say Lord you come as you place seraphims around the garden of Eden that we would not go and do mistakes Lord Father God place your seraphims around here Lord Father around us each and every one of us Lord God Lord Father, we pray for protection through your blood, Lord Jesus. Protection through the guidance of thy spirit, Lord Father God. Protection through thy angels being there for us, Lord Father God. We pray for protection that none of us will slip away. None of us will fall back and backslide. None of us, oh Lord God. None of us will be distracted. Father God, come. Father God, Holy Spirit, we pray that you will protect the church from laziness, protect the church. Let's all open the mountains and say, Lord, protect us. For the angel army stands with us. Amen, amen. Let's, let's sound. Lord, you, you take control. You take control. Let every attack of the evil one from any direction, be it the left or the right, for the front or the back, oh Lord God, you fight the battle for the battle belongs to the Lord. And everyone said, Amen. The battle belongs to the Lord. Amen. We pray protection from the spirit of fear, 
for, for us some of us are being overtaken by the spirit of fear for so let's all pray let the spirit of fear never overtake any of us for our brothers and sisters shall remain in the complete faith and courage jesus you take control jesus you take control jesus you take control take over lord father protect us protect our mind protect our heart lord jesus protect our spirit protect whatever you have given us protect our families lord protect the things that you have given us lord for the schemes of the evil one will go through anything lord you know the scheme you are the all knowing god we pray we may not know but lord we proclaim lord you are the all knowing god you know you come and protect us lord father god that we will not slip away jesus lord we pray lord let's pray this church for the evil one is coming to take things away so that we will fall we will lose but lord let us we pray let us be like job no matter what we lose no matter what the evil one comes to attack we will not drop our faith from you lord proclaim that everyone let's let's proclaim that let's proclaim that lord no matter what the attack is lord help us to stand in our faith root us lord lord we pray for our leaders we pray for our leaders oh lord god we pray for our senior pastor reverend nimo and we pray for our pastor chad we pray for every pastors we pray for every household leader every life group leader we pray lord protect us protect them lord father god because the attack is more on them lord because they know if the shepherd is hit the flock will split lord we pray for protection protection church i want you to take in mind and take in your in your mouth lord father and, and 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 take the names of your household leaders your the pastors everyone the names you know take them and give them to lord protect them lift up our hands towards them and lift them uh, lift them towards the lord lord this is the sign we want to give our leaders into your hands we pray protect them let's not just stand there let's not just stand but lift up our hands as a sign to god lord we we give you our pastors and their family lord father god protect them that they will not be deceived there will be peace in their houses that they will be able to do your will lord father they will be able to do their plan father we pray lord father god you will protect them from sickness that will stop them from ministering we pray that you will you will protect them from attacks of the evil one that they will continue that they will continue in ministering lord we proclaim we ask you we ask you take them take them let's not be silent for the lord wants us to pray just like we heard from pastor richard say we need to pray let's pray Let's pray. We thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. We pray for unity Lord. We pray for unity. Church, let's pray for unity for the Lord does not want any faction. No factions in his church. Man or woman, Jew or Gentile, rich or poor, there is no division. There is no division between the haves and have nots for we are all equal in the eyes of the Lord we pray for protection but request if you can hold the hands of your of the person who is standing next to you and pray lord that we will be united in you lord father god we will be united in you lord god father we pray Oh Lord let there be no gossips and slander that brings factions within us Lord Father God. Yes. But let let us all remain in that one love in unity. That you will be able to manifest your glory in this church Lord Father God. Wherever every household, every life group, every gathering, be it the men's gathering, be it the women's gathering, wherever Lord Father God, let there not be faction, but let there be unity and full of your love. 
that all of us can call on your name and you will manifest your presence there, Lord. Manifest. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Church Jesus. Thank you. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind can know what God has in store. So open up heaven, open it wide Over your church and over our lives No eye has seen, no ear has heard No mind can know what God has in store So we surrender ourselves to you. We surrender ourselves, our lives to your purpose. Lord, we surrender our lives and every aspect that we are holding back. Lord, we pray that you will take over. Master, we pray that you will fill us with your spirit to carry out this purpose that you have on us, O Master. Lord, I pray that none of them who've come here will leave empty-handed today, O Master. Lord, we feel your presence. We need your anointing in this place. Lord, we turn to you as a church. We come to you. Lord, we cannot do, we cannot carry out your purpose, your plans for your kingdom. We cannot do it on our own, O oh Master. But Lord, we can only do it with the help of the Holy Spirit. So we ask you right now, O oh Master, that you, you will pour out, pour out your anointing over us, O oh Master. Pour out your anointing over us, O oh God. God, there is nothing that we can do on our own. We confess it, we acknowledge it, O oh Master. Lord, we pray that you'll pour out, pour out your anointing over us, O oh Holy Spirit. This promise of the Holy Spirit that we have received after the salvation. 
We receive it in Jesus' name. We receive it in Jesus' name. We receive it in Jesus' name. Those of you who are waiting, who have been asking God for gifts of the Holy Spirit, I pray that you'll raise up your hands at this moment and just start speaking, start speaking in tongues. If God has blessed you with that, start speaking in tongues. If you've been asking, you've been receiving, you've been uh, pleading with God that He will use you more and more. Start praying, start praying. Jesus, Jesus. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh If you've been praying and you've been asking God to fill you afresh, if you've been asking for the gifts of the Holy Spirit, if you want to be anointed by the Holy Spirit, you've never had that experience before, um, just be bold and I request you to come forward and we have our leaders who will be uh, standing here in front who will be laying their hands on you and praying. So just feel free, just come forward, come forward. Don't think about who is beside you. Don't think about who is behind you, who is looking at you. Nothing, it doesn't matter. It's, this moment is just between you and God. Just come forward, come forward and receive this blessing that God has on you that on this appointed day. Come, come forward, church. Come forward. Don't hesitate. Come forward. To carry out His mi mission, we need the Holy Spirit. So just come forward. Don't hesitate. You may be young. You may be old. You may be a child. You may be very old. There's no, there's no limit. Just come. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. We will just take some time. Even as we keep singing songs, we will take some time to pray over you. So just come forward. Oh 
speaking to you if the spirit of god is moving your heart just come forward there is time there is time for everyone just come just come Just hit it down. Just hit it down. Just hit it down. Because I'm going to do the unusual in your life. 
but as long as you you don't release as long we don't release it god does not god cannot we are resisting god is saying i want this is for some who who have never experienced and they're saying that i want to but i do not know how to they're saying there is a just just empty your cup empty empty it and church pray for all those who are standing intercede intercede for those who are in front intercede that all those who are asking will be prayed just don't stand there but pray those who are already filled with the spirit those who are walking in the overflowing of the spirit intercede for others that they will experience that our brothers and sisters standing next to us will experience will experience the power of the holy spirit today will experience the glory of the lord today Jesus we pray Jesus we pray we ask you we are rasi handora we handari aso those who want to kneel down and just and just want to surrender it to the lord do it those who want to lift up hands and do it do it whichever way you want to do it but all we god wants is that surrendered life that he will pour out your spirit on you o rasi tarakara bash pour out your spirit pour out your spirit pour out we want the latter rain lord we want the latter rain lord we want to experience the latter rain lord father god the sikara basikoro bash where you will reveal your plan anyone who is asking i want to know the plan of god just ask he shall reveal father we pray oh lord god that each and every one of us we want to be called just like how you called samuel samuel in the night and he woke up and he answered lord call us call us and we will answer just like samuel here i am oh lord speak your servant is listening those who want to hear just just say here i am oh lord wherever you're standing here i am just say it. here i am oh lord your servant is listening here i am oh lord your servant is listening glorify your name lord glorify your name through us glorify your name through us Lord I am your instrument I am your vessel cleanse me and let me be a channel thank you Jesus thank you Lord Lord as we church as we prepare to partake in the communion we request all of us to take the elements if you have not received the elements just lift up your hands and our ushers will bring it to you when before he was crucified he took this he knew it was so important for us to get back to god to have a wonderful relationship and hence i request 
request anyone who is here has accepted Jesus as the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings and the God and your God and our God will urge you not to stay away for God has told us this is in remembrance of what he has done that wonderful sacrifice that he took so that we will be one with him but yet he's told us this that we will assess that we would not take it in an unworthy manner Un we don't have to climb up the mountain or go down the sea but it's all a matter of just turning back to say lord forgive me for i have sinned we cannot get right and get come to the lord but it is in the lord we are right we cannot be righteous and then come to the lord for it is in the lord we become righteous and so i urge everyone who's accepted the lord to partake and let us all lift up the cup lord we summit this into you we summit ourselves into your hands we thank you for the body that you have crucified allowed it to get beaten allowed the wrath of god to take over so that we will be liberated thank you father for that sacrifice thank you lord jesus thank you lord we take this in remembrance of what you have done for us that we would be one with each other and we will be one with you let's partake of the bread let's lift the cup lord we thank you for the blood that was shed upon the cross every drop to the last you shed it so that we will receive the forgiveness of sin that we will be cleansed no more unholiness purified through the blood of the lamb that was shed for us we thank you jesus as you said we take this in remembrance of you of what you have done on the cross we pray oh lord god that we would not just remember today and go away but we would remember this every day of our life that we will live in the worthiness of your sacrifice thank you lord be thou glorified help us to always be one with you let us partake of the cup just let's continue in the attitude of prayer lifting our hands interceding for one another church let us continue to intercede continue to pray and ask and seek god the word is clear that we all have been given the salvation just not to enjoy the fruit of the holy spirit but also to be fruitful he has called us to be laborers in the harvest and so today i ask you church lift up your voice the word is clear let us pray and ask the lord of harvest that he would send more laborers amidst us more laborers that would take the gospel of peace and salvation to ends of this earth lord forgive us lord for when we have not prayed for the lost when we have not shown concern for the lost lord forgive us for what is the use of this salvation if i am not a hope for this world around me lord we we together we raise up our voice church everyone all of you here raise up your voice let's pray for our missionaries let's pray for every mission work that's happening in the in around us lord we lift up our voice in one accord lord that your protection be upon those feet that takes the gospel of peace for blessed are those feet lord we pray that that family that has surrendered everything to you have left every form of pleasure and have gone into places to preach your gospel lord let your love would surround them let your protection be upon them father many are the missionaries that have been persecuted their families live every day with dread and fear and lord we pray we raise out our voice father that 
let them not fear any more but the spirit of boldness be upon them to know that their lord will protect them that lord jesus that lord every persecution will not come near them father lord i pray that when a 10000 may fall at their right hand lord i pray that lord no harm will come near them father that you protect them with the apple of your eyes father lord I pray father that you would protect the missionaries from any every attack of the enemy from every schemes father every schemes of strife every schemes that make the body weak lord we pray against them father that lord all the days of their life their family will have strength to walk miles for you father lord rise us up also father that we also want to be missionaries to our communities we want to be missionaries to our neighbors give us the boldness to proclaim your gospel unashamed father yes lord unashamed that we would speak your gospel and truth father lord we pray for the face of india father for many other atrocities that are rising amidst us father great are the sin and the work of mankind that really brings us down father protect us father especially in the wake of many attacks on the women of india father lord it is so disheartening to see the cruel things that is being done against women father i pray a system would arise in india that your children will be safe father yes father sound legal system will come father lord we pray sound police system will come that our, our women will not be fearful lord knowing that your protection will be upon everybody father we pray leaders will rise up and take strong actions father i pray a heart of renewal among people father yes lord we pray against every spirit of wickedness every spirit that is that is consuming goodness of india father i pray father the souls that have turned wicked will now change father yes lord miracle will happen a supernatural encounter will be upon people who are walking in the ways of wickedness father confuse the minds of the wicked father that when they come about with the wicked ways they will stop it because their mind is confused father yes lord lord we pray father that lord that the enemy that is prowling will be perished father and that spirit will not take it over our country father lord we pray we raise our voice together for our nation church raise up our voice for if we don't pray we will not live peaceful and prosperous within our country let us pray for india we pray father lord that you would save this country father lord you will save our leaders and leaders will be devoted for this nation father lord give us a country where your voice would be heard father that your doors will be open for gospel father lord we pray you would change the situation of our country father lord we pray father the sicknesses of all form will flee from our places from our households father Lord we lift up our voice for those people father who are suffering amidst us father many are under bondages of sickness and ailments for months church can we remember our friends our loved ones who have been suffering with sicknesses for a long period of time Lord we come to them into mighty hands father especially we pray for those people who have raised up request and prayer request father lord we pray father that your hand of deliverance and protection would be all upon all the prayer requests that you have brought into this church father Lord we want to thank you father for great are your miracles that you have been doing amidst us father we want to thank you lord father for lord you have healed jesvin from one hole father he had two holes in the heart and you healed him from one hole we want to thank you lord for that father and today once again we ask you father that we would see such miracles when we pray for the sick father we lift up these these people to mighty hands father Lord we pray for Brian who is suffering with dengue we pray for Chaco who is having high bp we pray for Sujo Thomas for cardiac attack who will recover father lord we pray for Akash who had a successful stem cell transplant we pray for cancers we pray for Tina and Esther we pray for Arul Mori who is suffering from stage 4 cancer lord we lift up these people to mighty hands father Lord just like how you heal Jasmine we want to see healing in these people father yes lord right now raise up your voice and rebuke the cancer we rebuke in Jesus name that cancer away from our church away from our loved ones we pray healing lord healing and
and restoration and regeneration of good cells, Father. Thank you, Lord. Let cancers be healed. Let tumors be gone. Let arthritis and diabetes be something of the past. Lord, we pray all this in Jesus' name that His strength will arise, Father, upon these people, Father. Lord, we also remember our loved ones who have lost their loved ones, Father. Lord, we pray, Father, that you, have, you would comfort those people who have lost their loved ones across, Father. Lord, we pray that we have the hope to know that we will rejoin them in eternity, Father. That you would bless them, Father. Yes, Lord, we pray for the family of Uncle Moses, Father, Lord, who has come to be in your presence, Father, that you would comfort them, that you would strengthen them to know that, Lord, life goes on and you are a God who is in control and you are a God who will deliver them from this time of trial, Father. Thank you, Lord. We pray and we ask you once again, Lord, that you would touch this church and fill this church with your anointing and your presence, Lord. Even as we go about our daily days, Father, Lord, you would anoint us and you will not leave us without your presence, Father. And even as we prepare to hand over our offerings to you, Father, Lord, we first and foremost offer our lives to you, Father. We offer ourselves to you, Father, as a living and pleasing sacrifice, Father. May you be pleased in our offerings. May you be pleased in our sacrifice, Lord. We pray and we ask you, Father, bless our offerings and may it be a, a, a tool of your glory in this world, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless in Jesus' name. Amen. Please be seated. I request the ushers to take up the offering at this time.
the September prayer guide is here. This month, our focus is on strengthening missions and the church. We'll be praying for our missionaries in the field, for our churches to grow with Christ at the center, and for unity as we build God's kingdom. If you'd like a copy, just raise your hand and our ushers will be happy to bring one to you. You can also download it by following this link. Baptism classes are held every Sunday. If you're interested in taking this important step of water baptism in your faith journey, just stop by our help desk today. Do you know that when we join hands and hearts, miracles happen? We encourage all the women of our church to join us for a sweet hour of prayer every Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. on Zoom. For more details, please contact our help desk. We'd love to have you with us. Every year in the month of September, we focus on specifically praying for missions. Please do make a note that we would also be distributing missions pledge cards next Sunday. We encourage the church to come prepared to give generously towards missions and continue to pray for the missions work across India that we as a church are supporting. For more information, latest updates, and to give online, visit bit.ly slash community. We've got everything you need in one place. Church, can we give the Lord a big hand of praise for what he has done for us this morning? <laughs> amen, amen. So we, uh, this being the first Sunday of the month, uh, we want to take a moment to wish all those who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries. Uh, so we'll start with the birthdays. Can I request those who are celebrating your birthdays to please stand? Yes, yes. Let's put our hands together for them, church. Anyone else? Okay. On the count of three, can we wish them a happy birthday? Yes. One, two, and three. Happy birthday. Please be seated for a moment. Can I ask those who are celebrating your wedding anniversaries in the month of September to please stand? Wonderful. Wonderful, yes. Let's put our hands together for them. Come on, let's do it a little better for them. Okay, on the count of three, we're going to wish them a happy wedding anniversary, yes? One, two, and three. Happy wedding anniversary. Can I request those who are celebrating your birthday to so stand as well? We'd like to pray for you. Church, can we stretch our hands towards these brothers and sisters and pray a prayer blessing upon them? Father, we want to thank you and praise you this morning, Father, for... Our brothers and sisters who are standing here celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries this month, Father. Lord, as your church, as, Lord, as one body, we, we want to praise you and thank you for your goodness in their lives this past year, oh, Father. Thank you, Lord, that, Lord, that you have led them beautifully thus far, oh, Father, Lord. And they're standing here this morning to glorify your name, Father. And Lord, even as they step into this new year in their lives, Lord, as individuals, as, as families, oh, Father, Lord, we pray, we pray that they would continue to experience your goodness in their life, oh, Father. Lord, we pray that good health be their portion, Father. We pray that, Lord, that you would bless the works of their hand, oh, Father. Lord, we pray they would find favor in the eyes of man and you, oh, Father. It's Jesus. Lord, more than anything, we pray, Lord, in this new year that they would draw closer to you, oh, Father. Lord, we pray, Lord, as we heard your word this morning, Father, let, Lord, that they would have more times of prayer, oh, Father, Lord. That, Lord, that, Lord, as they spend time with you, Father, that you would give them absolute clarity about everything concerning them, oh, Father, and their families, oh, Father. We pray, Spirit of God, that you would minister to them, oh, Father. Speak into their lives, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Lord, we pray that, Lord, in everything that they do, Father, that your name be glorified, that they would be a blessing wherever you place them, Father, in their jobs, Father, in their families, in their communities, oh, Father. Lord, people would see them and know you, oh, Father. We pray, Father, every desire of their heart, oh, Father, whatever they've been praying for and waiting upon you, Lord, that, Lord, that you would open the doors for them, oh, Father, that their joy may be complete in you, Lord. We thank you once again for their lives. We bless them in your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Church, can we all rise up uh, to pray and close? Father, we want to thank you and praise you once again, Lord, for Lord bringing us here this morning, Father. 
Lord, we thank you for ministering to us, Father, for strengthening us, Father, encouraging us, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your word, Lord Jesus. And we pray, Father, that, Lord, I pray this morning that this word would remain in us, Father, Lord, that, Lord, prayer would be our source of strength in every situation of our lives, oh, Father God. We thank you and praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Now may the love of the Father, the grace of his only Son, Jesus Christ, and the sweet communion and fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forever. And all God's saints said, Amen and Amen. God bless you. Have a great week ahead.